Tetris! To someone who's never played Tetris before, it looks pretty fucking ancient. It looks like the kind of thing cavemen would play on the fucking cave walls, you know what I mean? But actually, it's surprisingly exciting. When the blocks start coming faster and faster and faster, and the music starts getting crazy, and the visuals start getting crazy, and before you know it, you're using 100% of your brain power just to stay alive. Yeah, it's... It gets pretty fun. I had never played Tetris before, so I decided for some reason to play a uh, game of Ranked. It didn't go very well, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. But after 15 hours of gameplay, I went back to Ranked, and I successfully climbed way the fuck downwards. One thing I will say about this game is that it, it's pretty fucking hard. Obviously playing against other players, that's gonna be difficult. I didn't really expect anything else. But the single player, even the single player is very hard. You have to go in the practice mode if you want to actually experience some of the levels. Even on normal mode, they throw blocks at you so fucking fast at some points. I have genuinely no fucking idea how people do it. Oh fuck! Get in the hole! In Tetris, every block that you place has hundreds of ramifications, and if you're as shit as I am, all of them are bad. You make one mistake in the past, and then in the future, it snowballs, and suddenly your whole life is fucked up. It's hilarious if you're as bad as I am, because you'll still be in the calm segment of the game, and they'll play the most soft, beautiful music with angelic bird visuals. But by this point, you've already fucked everything up, so you're just there fighting for your fucking life. While, you're the, while the game thinks you're relaxing. The Tetris effect is an effect where when you play Tetris later on, you will be, without your consent, imagining blocks and moving blocks in your head. It's called the Tetris effect, but it actually happens for a lot of games. When I play too much Rocket League, in my head I'm always thinking of saving goals and hearing people in chat, what a save, what a save, what a save. So it's not just a Tetris thing, but it's difficult to play Tetris without it taking over your brain for a bit. I thought the story was quite good, it was well written, but I found the characters quite forgettable. Name one Tetris character, you can't. I don't know his name, but my favourite character was this Indian guy on this one level. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Of all the ancient caveman games, it seems like only Tetris really stuck around. Nobody plays Pac-Man anymore. Nobody plays that Mario game with the barrels. Nobody plays fucking Pong. As exciting as Pong was, that's not very popular anymore. But Tetris, people still play to this day. For a game about stupid ass, boring ass blocks, the game has such a strong foundation that I'm certain a hundred years from now people will still play it. There's a strength in simplicity, and I think the immortality of Tetris speaks to that. Oh, give me a straight. Give me a fucking straight, can you? Give me a straight! Fuck! <laughs> While the effects and the music do add a lot, it's only because the core gameplay is so fun that it even matters to you. I don't want to keep bullying Pong, but can you imagine Pong with a Tetris effect treatment? I don't think it would be very successful, but it just demonstrates my point that it's only because Tetris fundamentally is such a great game that adding all this shit would even work to begin with. Wow, Pong, this is where it's at. It ain't gonna get any better than this.